Hey guys, so this is our first, well at least my first, um, EDH video. This is probably going to be a while, don't get me wrong. And, um, sorry, just informing this guy that hopefully this goes up on mtgcast.com as long as nothing goes wrong. So, I'm playing my tomorrow, as always familiar, EDH deck. I've talked about this before. I have a really decent hand, actually. Humrid, Spawning Bay is a beast in this kind of deck. Um, Halimar Deaths is going to get us some extra land. We've got the Relic of uh, Progenitus, just in case we got some Graveyard decks. Um, looks like we're reversing an Una, Queen of the Fae deck from Last Word. We've got a Miri Cat Warrior deck from McCartney. And a Corona False Guard from Too Bizarre. So, hopefully this goes well. Uh, I like my opening hand. I said this before. Um, get a straight up bomb. Love this card, guys. If you're not playing this in EDH, you already should. It's won me way too many games. So, we see Draining Welk, Island Island. I'd rather have two islands before the Draining Welk. So, we're just going to sit back and pass. Um, hopefully there is an EDH deck tech before this. Uh, if not... Check out the hand, it's awesome. But if there was, you know what's happening in this in this hand. Um basically next term we're just gonna go Relic of Progenitus. I mean it, it it sincerely shuts down decks, which is why it's a great thing to have in your hand. It can make you be warned a target if someone is a graveyard deck, they'll all of a sudden be like, Oh shit balls, we need to get this guy out of the game. So watch yourself. Just waiting around. It's the first few turns, so first few turns is always a long time of playing lands. Playing lots and lots and lots of lands. Alright, got that island. Makes me happy. Don't like this new thing from MTGO. I don't know if you're paying attention, but it's in order to pay colored mana, they ask you again what kind of mana you want to use. It's kind of annoying. Um, so I guess while we're just using the early turns, I can explain uh, the general. It's Tomorrow is Zombies Familiar. He is, or it is, a legendary spirit for five and a blue. If you draw a card, look at the top three cards of your library instead. One of these cards into your hand, and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. It's a one five. Really good blocker. Um, there's a lot of cards in this deck that just kind of stand out as horrible. But when you have Tomorrow out, they're amazingly good. So that's why we like to play him. Alright, so this turn, we're going to draw another island, obviously, duh, we know this already. So I'm just going to play the Harmless Bonding Bay, get it out there. Um, it's a scary card. Uh, watch out, it's great with Tomorrow out, it's not that great against Wrath Effects, obviously, because the sacrificing happens afterwards, but there's a nice amount of mind control effects in this deck, and if people are playing blue, like... If I can steal Una, Una, then just sack her and get six 1-1 one, one blue Camerids, yo, I'm fine with that. So, still playing Drago. Um, this should be a fun game. Don't really have to worry about counter spells, besides from last word. Um, McCartney should be playing as general right now. If I'm, I must be mistaken. She must cost four. And we're going to get there. No, she costs three. What's up with that? Play your general. Why would you not play your general, McCartney? That's incorrect. Alright, guys, we're gonna call him out for bad play. Alright, one, two, three. Bad play. I'm kinda worried about Corona. But I'm not worried because I have Homrid Spawning Bay. And he just played Tinderwall? What? What? <laughs> That's, rid That's ridiculous. I, I would have never expected that to be played. Alright, so we get that Draining Welk. And I guess we just gotta pass. We don't really have much to do. I'm not gonna can trip the relic of progenitus. Um, that's just a horrible idea. It turns off so many things. So we always keep relic open. It's, I was gonna say, seems like last word's off mana. But thankfully, to be honest, he's not. If you notice in this deck, draining welk is pretty much one of the only hard counters, and it costs six. So don't hate on draining welk. Ooh. Oh, for a second there, I thought that abundance was everybody because I thought it was right to flourishing, but it's not. <laughs> that made me sad. Still wondering why this guy didn't just play. Whoa, that's right. You don't have counter spells, Una player. This Una guy has counter spells. I'm gonna be kind of 
weary of him. Hopefully Tubazar can just play Corona so I can get her in Sacker for some Camerids. That'd be nice. I like Camerids. Though sadly, on um MTGO they don't have tokens for the, they don't have token pictures for these guys. What's up with that? Come on. They're they're little Camerids. You can see them in the background. Alright, really quickly I'm gonna check this guy general again. I'm sure he's Corona, right? Why is he playing walls? And why can't I access his exile cards? Right? Yeah. The beginning of each player's upkeep, that player untaps Corona False God against control of it. Haste. Whenever he attacks, creatures of the type you control get plus three plus three. Hmm. <laughs> confused. Beyond confused. Ooh, we got some Teferi action. What's up here? This this makes me a happy camper. I'm a big fan of Teferi. Here's the thing though. We're probably gonna flash him in at the end of J last word's turn. He represented a counter spell last turn. Seems like the best play. Plus it turns off his counter spells. Um hopefully McCartney and Tubazar don't decide to kill it. I know that Tubazar can, but I'm not too sure that J last word that McCartney can. He is playing green. So we got some some play action from J the Last Word. Ooh, spreading season on the Crumbling Necropolis. Who's a douchebag? That guy's a douchebag. <laughs> I'm joking. Spreading Seas is actually a really good card to play in EDH. It shuts off important lands like Crumbly Necropolis. More than likely you're going to hit a creature land. Or um, you might get extra lucky and hit something like... Well, Tolarian Academy is thankfully banned. But Academy Ruins is good to hit with Spreading Seas. It's also fun if they're not playing blue and you can make it an off-color land. Like if you uh, Spreading Seas the forest over at McCartney, it only taps for colorless. So I, I think that's awesome, but that's just me. So Abundance isn't a nutty card, but it's a very good card. So don't get me wrong, I don't like have removal for it. I'm just I'm just watching out for it. Hmm. Oran Viper. Seems decent. Alright, hopefully at the end of this guy's turn we can just flash in some Teferi action. That's that's how you play Teferi, by the way, always at the end of somebody's turn, because it's the best way to play Teferi. And we have three, four mana. What are we doing here? Wall of Faith. So is this guy just playing a Doran deck and didn't tell anybody? <laughs> I'm very confused. Can I be very confused? <laughs> In response. <laughs> oh, did it get past Jay last word? Okay, I'm happy now. Draining Locus double flash. He also has super haste. Yes! That makes me a happy panda. Alright, so here's the thing about playing. I'm going under Sheldon's rules of if you're not attacking, you're not playing correctly. So you gotta live in the red zone, and there's only one person with an untapped thing. We're attacking last word. Sorry, dude. Only person without creatures and we're just gonna attack into him I mean it's not like he can doomblade him in response I mean to be honest it's not like I should be worried about the wall guy right now plus I can just drain and welcome response to anything really bad hopefully I get the most mana out of my turn and hopefully this commentary isn't crazy annoying I'm just trying to, to keep it kind of fresh because EDH games go long. Very long. I'm not too sure this being my first video is going to be cut up into chunks. I'm just going to assume it is. I'm not playing. I'm probably not going to pay for a Vimeo account, but I can just stream it through YouTube. And we have a channel, so expect, expect this on our channel also. Um, using some weird software. Uh, debut video capture. Got it from... I feel bad doing this, but dude, how can you not? He's gonna hate me. Hey, if I if I could play overwhelming intellect I would. <laughs> I feel like a dick. <laughs> 